Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru. It is April 19th, 2024. I'm here for my Wordle and Quirtle of the Day and for Poker Day. I loved poker growing up. We, there were six kids in my family. I was the youngest and we would save our pennies and have these huge penny poker games, especially on like rainy weekends and have popcorn and stuff. Um, but I, I swear, I, I almost drove my brother crazy because we didn't play Texas Hold'em, which is fairly standard these days. We played Dealer's Choice. Texas Hold'em might have shown up, but it was amidst a whole bunch of other things. And since it was Dealer's Choice, and since I was so young, <laughs> my standard hand, it, I swear, I, I almost drove my brother crazy. He's four years older than I. I would call five card draw, one-eyed jacks, man with the axe, wild, spady lady starts a new game. So if there was a queen of spades that showed up in any of the hands, and often it did because sometimes there were a lot of us playing, I would have to collect all the cards, reshuffle, redeal, re-add to, you know, our ante to the pot and keep going. It was just, oh my goodness, it was ridiculous. <laughs> so, ah. Uh, Cheers to my siblings who put up with me. Amazing. So I am going to use, not poker as my inspiration word, I'm going to use flush as my inspiration word. Since the royal flush is the best hand, and a straight flush is the second best hand, and it had two letters that I wanted to have show up, but I'm surprised the S is there. I was thinking maybe we would get an S, but I thought it would be in the front. So I like this. Okay, so what other letters can I put with that? I've got R, T, N, E. I haven't tried those yet. Uh, I kind of don't want to try an S again, right? Because I have no idea what this is yet. Um, H doesn't work with the S, though. So I think I want to try a T maybe down here. Maybe with an R, an R or an N. If we do the R there, what could we come up with? Um, I was thinking heart. No, we can't do that. We, we don't have access to that H. So let me look at this. Um, I don't know how to use the N with this. I've got the R and the T. Oh, what if I do, what if I do inert? Oh, that's a good one. So we would use the I. We haven't used that. The N, the E, the R, and the T. These are the letters I wanted to use. Let's see what this gives us, if anything. Ooh, okay. So look at that. We've got some good stuff here. We have got an I. It's not there. It's either going to be here or here, or possibly here, but I'm thinking here. We have got an R somewhere. Oh, it looks like it can go anywhere the S isn't. And then we've got an E here or here or here. What if we put the E at the end and we do R, I? What could we make with that? Um, another R, another I, another E, Q, W, Y. This looks like a V. What did I do? I can't even read that. There. Better. Um, y, O, P, A. Oh, what if we do, can we, yep. We could do rays. I like that. Um, for this, D, G, J, K, Z, X, C, V, B, M. I have to try raise. It's a poker thing. I have to try raise. I'm going to raise you. <gasps> oh, yes. Oh, perfect. You guys know I love it when a plan comes together. When it's poker day. And the word is raise. Oh, gosh. Imagine if I had started with the word raise instead of flush. Oh, missed opportunity there. 
Ah, uh, I still like my win. I'm feeling very happy about, very wistful. Uh, let's see. So let's move on to our quartal of the day. I've got fishy, budge, clown, tramp. I've got flirt. That's a fun word to say, especially when you say it as flirt. Okay. Oh, float. Flirt, float. Okay. Probably driving animals in your vicinity crazy. What is that crazy thing happening? Um, that looks like woman. W-O-M-A-N. Because I'm a woman. W-O-M-A-N. W can go here. O can go here. M can go here. Can't be mowing or omwin. Yeah, it's women. Woman. All right. And then what's this? W... E W A W A E N oh, Waken 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 Okay could be Waken Um Wawin Wanin Wakwin Wajin Waken Wazen Waxen Waxen could be Waxen ah, I think it's Waken Waven <gasps> Shoot I think it's Waxen Streaming, flaxen, waxen. Give me it down to there. Hair. It is. It's waxen. Oh, that's a unique word. I mean, we just don't hear it very often unless you, you happen to sing, was that a 60s or a 70s song? Unless you sing musicals from the hippie era. Waxen. All right. That is it for me. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. I think I need to contact some of my siblings today. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.